Good morning, I'm Major Han with the INSCOM Contract Linguist Program here on Camp Bonsteel. I'm gonna give you an introduction to risk, the Army's risk management program, and how to identify, assess, and mitigate hazards. The Army uses risk management to help maintain combat power while ensuring mission accomplishment in both operational and non-operational activities. Risk management is the Army's process for helping organizations and individuals make informed decisions to reduce or offset risk. Two things you'll learn from this brief introduction. Number one is to accept no unnecessary risk. You will have risk involved with your training and operations. However, none of it will be unnecessary. You will accept risk when the benefits outweigh the costs. And I will let you know in the future of this brief how you make that determination. Step one in the process is to identify hazards. You're gonna think of anything that could possibly go wrong during your training or your operation. Anything that could cause harm, illness, death, injury to personnel should be your first thing to consider. What you also want to consider is any damage or destruction of government property. Next, you're going to assess your hazards. You're going to determine the risk level. Estimate the impact of what might happen should this event occur. You're going to calculate it not only by its probability, but by the severity. Your next step is to develop controls. This is where risk mitigation comes into effect. You're gonna make an informed decision that will eliminate or reduce the hazards associated with each risk. As you work through this process, reevaluate the risk until the benefit outweighs the cost. You'll then decide which control measures you would like to implement in order to achieve the overall goal of risk management. Next, you'll get into implementation of controls. This is where you'll introduce your control measures and ensure they are effectively communicated. It's important that not only you know this information, but anyone participating or overseeing your activity as well. Finally, the last step, just as in the troop leading procedures, supervise and evaluate. After your risk mitigation is implemented, you'll manage the program. You'll be enforcing the controls as well as their effectiveness, and you'll update them as necessary. Make sure to note these for future training. If you identify something that could be valuable in the future, pass it along to someone who may be conducting this operation or this training after you. I'll give you a brief rundown now on how to assess your risk. You'll take the probability plus the severity to get your overall risk level. Keep in mind numbers come into effect here. If you're conducting a training level, um, at a squad level and you have a low risk, we'll say of 1%, it's extremely low. However, if the whole brigade's doing it, your sample size has increased to maybe a few hundred soldiers, it's therefore statistically more probable that this event will occur. Keep that in mind when assessing the overall risk. As far as probability, we start out with a level one which is unlikely, level two, seldom, three, occasional, four, likely, and five, frequent. Then we get into the severity of the risk. One, negligible, little to no impact. Two is marginal, three is critical, and four is catastrophic. After you've determined the risk probability and severity, you'll need to consult the Army's risk management matrix. You can keep this on your phone, on, on a slide, on your desktop. But as you can see here, you take the probability and the severity, find wherever they cross, and that will give you your level of risk. Whatever level you start with, you minus your mitigation, which gives you overall reduced residual risk. If something is a moderate to high, you introduce your implementations, and depending on the effective measures that you've decided upon, you may be able to get it down to a low, a medium, extremely low, something along those lines. I hope you've benefited from this class. Enjoy the rest of the presentation, and please be safe. Thank you.